Glen Canyon, just upstream from the Grand Canyon on the Colorado River, is home to ancient petroglyphs, towering cliff faces, the imposing Glen Canyon Dam, and one of the most photographed spots in Arizona, Horseshoe Bend. And today, we're going to take a raft tour down the river and check it out. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Well, we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. This is part of our America's Grandest Canyons Road Trip series, where we traveled cross country to explore the Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon, Glen Canyon, Palo Duro Canyon, and more. Stay tuned for more videos in our evolving trip playlist. For this tour, we went with a company called Wilderness Adventures in Page, Arizona. It was $90 a person, and while billed as a half day trip, once travel and safety and security checks were factored in, it took most of the day. Our tour buses brought us through the tunnels of Glen Canyon, arriving at the base of the dam, where we donned hard hats and then walked to our motorized raft. Make sure to turn around and catch a glimpse of the immense dam from afar. This is apparently a well-known area to spot desert bighorn sheep. This is Honey Draw, a side canyon. According to our guide, if you hiked up it, you'd reach one of the modern wonders of the world, a Walmart Supercenter. This is one of the widest parts of the river. This canyon is about 900 feet deep here. For an insane perspective on how deep that is, an entire football field can fit into this round indentation in the cliff wall. This is another area where desert bighorn sheep can be spotted. The next stop and only real break on the trip is Petroglyph Beach. Here, you'll get a 15 minute break to use the restrooms. But screw the bathroom, we're gonna check out the petroglyphs. It's a short walk that only takes a few minutes. You'll get to see petroglyphs of what are maybe desert bighorn sheep, among other things. The next site is going around the famous Horseshoe Bend, which we hiked from above earlier in the day. We'll link that video up above. It looks entirely different from below and gives you perspective on how high the walls of the canyon are. Can you make out any people? Let us know in the comments if you can.
see this black sky ahead of us and the blue sky behind, that means this smackdown is about to happen. Because Glen Canyon is a national recreation area, there are no permits necessary for day paddling. We totally want to come back here to kayak this, especially since there's overnight camping. These are wild hackberry trees and cottonwood trees. Here we are crossing a fault line. Quick note, to your left is Navajo land and to the right is Arizona. Here are some peaks. They have names, but since it started raining, it was hard to hear our guide. Make sure you dress to get wet. Even if there's no rain in the forecast, the boat spray will probably get you. The rain definitely made for a cold bus ride back. Eventually you will finish at Lee's Ferry and be shuttled back to Page, Arizona, which will take another hour. Minus the wet weather at the end, we love this raft trip. It was a great way to take a rest between our more intense hikes, get an up close view of the Colorado River and the Glen Canyon Dam, and get some geology and history lessons to boot. Next, we're off to Bryce Canyon for more epic adventures, so stick around. We'll see you on the trails or in the water.